Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how we will create a new security group. Okay, so let's sign in to Maximum. Okay, now we are signing in. This is our dashboard. Let's go to security group from security module security groups okay that is the application this this is all groups created on the system okay so This is HR group, finance group, everyone group, IT admin group, IT manager group. All these groups are associated with persons. Okay, so let's create a new one. Now, this is the name of the group. Let's say it's test users. We will describe it as test users group. See if there is any template you need to associate with this group to be default, we can select it from this. So let's select anyone. Let's uh, say. Oh my god, uh, asset manager, no problem. Let's see it. Okay, if you want this group to be independent of other groups and it's recommended, okay, you will check this box. If you want this group to display side navigation menu, you also could select this box. If you want any default application to associate with this group, when you open your system, you when you when you sign into the system, you will see this application as a default application. Okay, any application you want to see. So let's see service request, self service application, no problem. This will be the default application. Okay, you will see it later when we create user and associate it with this group okay if you want to associate this group with a specific site you can set this site here so let's uh, choose Bedford now this group will be associated with site Bedford under a Glina organization Application. This is the important step. Okay, you only need to associate users to this. So, if you want this group to see specific application, you should declare it here. Okay, that's a reference to your license. If you your license, we will talk about license uh, more later. So if your license is uh, for limited user, you need here to select only three application. For example, okay. Uh, sorry, three modules. Okay. So let's select SR. Let's save it first. Okay, save. Let's search for the SR. Since this group will be send requests, serve the request application. Okay, what we need for this group to see. Actions 
this group will do in this module service request or in this application so we don't need them to delete any service request so we will select they can create new service request read all service requests sorry new one read and save okay also this is the action that we need to associate with this group so let's select the attribute search okay we will select also more search modify run reports they can select the owner they can save current query okay this is for service request application okay now we created this group and associate it with service request application okay so in the next video we will create user and associate it with this group okay also if you it's important to add the object structure to this group if you want them to see say uh, asset search for assets important to uh, to associate this object structure with them Okay, so let's search for assets. Yes, that's it. You, you, they can read only asset. Okay, nothing else. Okay. And location. And also location. They also need to read this location to create a new service request. Okay, now we created this group. We will, in the next video, we will create a user and associate it with this group. Okay, see you there. Thank you.